Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Close Combat The Longest Day with me, Lord Cucumber. We are back at Widerstand Neste Fia and the paratroopers that are attacking it. And uh, we may force a breakthrough this time, I don't know. We might. It might be good because we need to reach Pegasus Bridge at some point to reinforce our guys there. Uh, we're gonna need those piots. Let's have a look. Mm, yeah, we'll bring it. All right. Oh yeah. I remember now. <laughs> Game, I hate you. <laughs> I remember why this was a problem. <laughs> All right, we were about to take the strong point there, so um. We may yet do that, I don't know. We may yet do that. Uh, where is this Piat unit? Piat! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put that Piat unit... Ah, it's useless. I, why did I bring it? I don't know. Yeah, no, no, it's not useless. Put it on... Um, We'll put it on over on well, um, some sort of Overwatch position, sort of hiding, I guess. Hiding, hiding is a good thing. Go hide. Go on. There we go. Keep an eye on the enemy, yeah. All right. The rest of these rifle teams. I'm gonna get this entire group to rush up here. There we go. And immediately defend themselves in this corner here. And get the other rifle group that I've got right here defending to the north. I'll make sure that these, this flank is covered, of course. A brand group, my favorite, the brand gun. Really handy piece of equipment, let me tell you. I'll put them like this, there we go. A headquarters unit. They'll be supporting from over here. And I think we pretty much have them then. Yeah, that's it. That's our unit. That is our unit. Okay. All right. We've got a minefield here. That's just wonderful news. That Vickers machine gun. Ha, ha, ha. Where to put it? Well, we'll put it in a classic position. On the... Wait a minute. Yeah, no, no, we can do that. No, we can't. I don't want to. <laughs> I want to put them in here. Where they can basically look down the field and shoot stuff. That's where we'll put it. That's right, bitches. Alright. Like this. And then another brand group right here. Like this in the orchard. Defend yourselves. And the headquarter units. Which will be in their center, I think. Is this the right one I'm moving? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, yeah, right here somewhere along this building here. On the fence. There we go. Looking north. Can they actually see something there? Hardly. Wow, that's the worst position I could have picked. I'm going to put him down here. That's way better. <laughs> Okay, they can look down that road. That's perfect. That's where I want them. Um, and we've got the mortar group there. Which we'll put in here on the fence. I don't like the fact that these people are so close to each other. I think I'll put these guys in here just to be s certain we have something on that flank. That platoon headquarters going to hide near the building. Um, in the middle there. 
you guys move a little bit back if you can can you actually see something from there no it's not very good to be there it's better to be over here or not no a bit more, bit more back uh, yep this is the ideal position okay all right cool I'll put you guys even further back there we go maybe I don't know no this is fine Okay, so that's one thing. Uh, they're gonna try and storm this right flank here with the limited supplies that they have. And we're gonna have one unit of Paris go through the middle bit, sort of. Uh, difficult. We're, not sure, we're certainly not gonna let them sit in the open too much. I might consider going for an all-out attack on the the road there through these little areas here. I think that might actually be a better plan than what I've already got. Yeah. Wow, they've barbed wired the place place up. There's no other way in except this road. Lovely. Okay, no problem, no big issue. Let's see, you guys can fire down whatever ever comes at us down there. If they do decide to put men in that field or near that field, we'll be able to shoot at them somewhat. Uh, we'll get the uh, mortar guys to uh, take position somewhere nearby. Maybe in this little trench here, there we go, on the fence. I want you guys firing the moment you see an enemy. That's that. I'm a little bit concerned about the progress we made in the middle here. It's not going to help if we don't capture their flank there. It's not going to help sitting in this orchard here either. So I'm just going to try and hide these troops and hopefully... Um, get them to crawl into the enemy's um, position there and do the same with these guys this is probably a suicide squad by the looks of things give them a little mortar to play around with yeah this is probably not the best of plans but well there we go in the mortar area <coughs> Wow, really? That's convenient, I have to say. Oh, wow. Who's firing where? Wow, I don't think they've actually taken this position. So we'll just do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, since you're running around... Okay, well, we seem to be breaking them now. Ammunition. Ammunition. 
Oh, they're running. There we go, that did it. What was that? Ah, oh, we can see those. Nice. All the way up to the wire, gents. Go on. Okay, where is the... Conserve ammunition. Conserve ammunition. Conserve ammunition. Okay, well our guys are getting to this uh, flank here, so that's excellent. Well, that's what we wanted to do. Take cover! Well done, gents. Got them in a nice flanking shot there. Oh, just got his. Keep and what's in here? Oh, okay. Whoops. I hope you didn't see that there. <laughs> and if you did, well, unfortunately. Peanut butter. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Whoa, okay, these guys suffered some losses. That's not good. I guess they uh, really hurt in that minefield. Spring mina. Whatever. Okay. Minin, yes, you're walking through your own minefield, you moron. They actually move through their own minefield. That's super. Move completed. No ammo. Oh dear. Alright. Sneak up to that little wall. Go on. Alright, these guys are breaking through the wire, so that's excellent. Try and get there, guys. Go on. Get going. All right. Looks like we may actually have a chance. Can't get a sight of trying, trying. Got him. Wow, they got him. Okay, sweet. Get into that house now, get going. Okay. There's, these guys are actually pinned in their own field, it looks like. They don't know where to go. That's awesome. You know what? Give some fire from there. Okay. Excellent. Or air support is available. So now we can suppress those guys whilst moving in with these guys, which is really good. Redeployed.
Okay, we are giving them a lot of fire there, that's good. I'm going for my goals now. Okay, some of these guys have suffered some serious, serious damage. We're taking the gun positions. Area secured. Area secured. Where are they firing from and with watts? Ah, okay. That unit is our problem. Well, not for long. Yeah, that's yellow smoke right there. <laughs> Idiots. Not yours. out now. Go. Move on him. I think I'll take that ceasefire now. Kill him. Excellent. Well done, gents. Damn it. Okay, we'll take the truce. There we go. Okay, so uh, that area is almost secure, but our force morale <laughs> took a beating. I guess I should have smoked the area. I always forget to smoke. That would have helped. But considering our losses, I don't think we, uh, we did very bad. Could have done way worse. Let's look at the soldiers. Yeah, some of these guys were knocked out completely. There we go. So the, thi the third team of the first platoon was uh, hit heavily. Probably by the two centimeter um, thing. There we go. And these guys, the Parabrand group, my god. Nothing left. Just that guy. 
And Piat's team did all right. They had an act of bravery, and the, these guys were severely injured, unfortunately. These guys were severely injured. <coughs> the Vickers machine gun did excellent. And so did the three inch mortar team. And these guys did okay. And these guys, wow, only Soldier Little is still there, fortunately. The Meralta Gabusto, despite the fact that his entire squad was dead. City man. The opponent, though. Yeah. Took out some of their teams completely, including the uh, Flak 38 2 centimeter gun. That one was eating up our men. Look at that, 8.5. I should have taken care of that the moment I, I saw it, but I actually overlooked that. It's very hard to keep track of what's happening on the battlefield sometimes. Uh, but uh, we're getting this. Next, next time we play this field, we'll win. We have a good chance of winning. So... There you go. Um, whoops, did I not save it? That would be terrible. <laughs> no, actually, that did, that, that did save. It actually auto-saved, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, okay. Well, uh, good to know, by the way. Um, next time, we'll be going to Uistram. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, at Widerstandsnest 18, where the British... Um, Canadians, I think, are landing. I'm not sure. 9th Brigade, 3rd British Independence. Uh, French. Oh, there's three French there, I think. French Commando Rifle Groups. Ah, the French that went for the uh, the casino, I think. That, that's, that's, that's these guys. Very likely. We have a Sherman Crab there as well, so that's pretty nice, pretty awesome. I'm gonna see that for the first time. Um, yeah, it should be very interesting. So um, that's up next, and uh, join me for that. Until then, bye bye.